our replay people. Hey, good morning. Today is going to be a little mix of legs and arms. So, um, you know, I like to switch it around. I am going to up my weights a little bit today. I have one liter bottles and then I have a two liter bottle. So filled with water. So um, these are just things that you guys can do as you feel stronger. You can start changing your weights around. I don't I don't know if any if many people have actually bought oh wow we have a big big group. Let me admit them all in. Two more people coming in right now. Um I don't know if anybody's actually bought physical weights. I know that some stores are opening up right now and they're starting to sell those things, but it's not necessary with what you've seen us do. Um, you know, some weights can be expensive. So we just go buy water bottles. So one liter is about um, two and a half pounds, two pounds, depending on how the bottle shape. And then two liters is about four and a half, five pounds. So as you can see, you know, the way we do the workouts, you don't have to have super heavy weights. Now, my gentlemen that are in the class, if you guys want to do, I would suggest five as your minimum. And for the ladies, I usually, you know, one or two is fine for them. But for gentlemen, I would say five is your minimum. Seven to eight is a good range. I don't think they make seven weights, but eight weights is fine. Um, six, seven, eight, ten. But if it feels too heavy, in some instances, still make sure you lower your weight because um, you don't want to tear anything. So there's a difference between pushing your body and then tearing your muscles. We don't want we don't want it to be too too crazy. Okay, guys. So if that's it. We are going to go to our music with no words. And we're going to get some stretching going, okay? Let's stretch out our arms and our legs. So reach, reach. Just make it nice and quick. Maybe one or two second holds. Kind of reach to the ceiling while you're turning. So you're stretching your arms and your hips. We're gonna get a good sweat today. So if you want your air on, turn it on. If not, drink lots of water. Okay, couple more. You should feel that all down your hip. Good. Bring your knees up as high as you can go. I kind of put them out to the side a little bit to get them open. Lift them up. Remember, we're just getting everything warmed up. Let me get my squat started. Okay, go to the back now. High as you can go. Kick in the back. So it's kind of like a butt kick. A donkey back kick. However you want to call it, just kick it up as high as you can go. We're just trying to stretch everything. Get it all warm and loose. Okay, let's do side stepping. Side with a little bit of a dip in the middle. Down, up. Just a, a wide step and a little dip in the middle. So, like I said, Legs and arm focus today. So both parts of your body. Core will be a minimum. There will be some high intensity spots. So we gotta warm everything up. Three, two, and one. Okay, just walk in place with those knees while rotating your head from side to side. Nice and slow, but we want your neck nice and loose, side to side. If you feel like your neck can't move much, you can sometimes help it out with a little bit of a hand and pull it down a little bit. While you're high 
locking in place. So bringing those knees up. Good. I'm already getting warm. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. Okay, reach like a scissor, just a twist. Get our arms loose. Good job. Okay, guys, you're ready for today. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you were able to get in an extra workout or some sort of extra outside or extra movement, bike, walking, hike, whatever it may be. Hopefully you were able to do that. Okay, so first one, I'm going to grab my heavier weight. So you can always start off heavier and then go down as you know as you change <clears throat> or you can drop the weights but i want them even for this we're going to do a simple squat with a press at the top okay so we're just going to be shoulder width apart shoulder width apart our legs are open we're going to we're going to hold the bottles or the weights to the side a nice um, bent elbow, squat down as low as you can go, stand up, and then press. Okay, that's the move. Ready? And go. Down, press. Nice and smooth and slow. Low as you can go on that squat, sticking your butt out behind you. You don't want your head to go Past your, past your uh, knees, see that? You don't want your head to be leaning forward up here. You want everything nice and straight. Keep it going. Nice and straight, couple more. So you don't want to be leaning forward over your knees. That's bad for your knees. Last one. Good. Woo! Good job. It's a good first, first, uh, first workout. Okay, next move, bicep curl. Okay, this is a bicep curl because you can squeeze your, you can see your biceps. Okay, but we're going to do a side step first, then a bicep curl. So we're gonna hold our water for our weights, side step. Bicep curl, side step, bicep curl. So it's just to keep our lower body moving. Okay, ready? Side step, bicep curl. Side step, bicep curl. And it's to keep our timing so that we can make sure that we are pausing properly in between each. So my guys on here, that have your heavier weights, you could probably, biceps are like the strongest muscle of our arms. You can go with your heavy weights or you can speed it up a little bit on this. I'm going at a slow pace, but if you can do more reps, that's totally fine. You could rep it out. We have five more seconds, but don't be fooled because we're gonna go through this three times. So, couple more. We're sidestepping, last one. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna drop one of those weights. I'm just gonna hold this one. This one is going to be a full arm lift. So it's up and down. If you can hold your weights, like if I were to, if I were to use my, my lower weights, if you have your um, lighter weights, you can easily do this with both of them, but I can't grip these bottles properly. So you could do this, or you could just be using one weight, okay? But this is the motion. I want straight back, straight back, 
Just coming up the whole time, okay? Ready? I'm just gonna use one of my heavier weights. Let's go. All the way up above your head, all the way down. So this one, you can see, is working your shoulders, your core, a little bit of your triceps. Woo! Keep it going. 10 more seconds. Above your head, down to your legs, full motion. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stop. Good. Gonna go back through that. So pick up both your weights. Squat to a press. Okay? Ready? Squat to a press, shoulder width apart. Down, up. So, if first round was a breeze for you, you can up your speed. Level one, please stick with me or slower. Level two and three, people that can handle it, you can go a little bit faster. Just make sure your form stays good. Woo. Make sure that your face is not going past your knees, your back is straight. Three, two, and one. Good. So, even at my pace, my heart rate is elevated. If you were speeding it up, then your heart rate is probably at its max right now. So remember, level one, you can go a little bit slower than me. Level two, keep up with me. I usually demonstrate twos, sometimes threes. And then level three, you're doing what I'm doing, but you're either doing more, like the speed is faster, you're doing more reps, or your weight is heavier. So that's up to you to decide if you, if you can handle it or not. We're going on to our bicep curls with a side step. Ready? And go, side step, up, side step, up. Good. So the side step is to just palm our pausing down. Otherwise, we would just be lifting massive reps. So we want to slow it down. Those of you who have been in my class for a month or more, you know that I like to do things slow and controlled and focus on our form. So we're side stepping to a bicep curl. Side step to a bicep curl. Level three, level two, you can up your speed if you feel you can do it. I like to I like to demonstrate the middle so that everybody can know what to do. Last two. One and two. Good. Okay, I'm gonna drop one of those weights. We're gonna go straight into our arm lifts, okay? You're using your center core muscle to keep everything straight. And then you're using your arms to do the rest. Let's go. Up. So you can either use two of your lighter weights, two of your heavier weights if you can handle the grip on your weight or the bottle. Or no weights if you really can't do it. That's the beautiful thing about different levels is you can change it up. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Last one. Good. So you feel it a little bit right here. Want those nice rounded shoulders, right? Okay, one more round. Both weights, and we're going to do that press. Did you notice that when I picked up these weights off the ground, I still squatted? You don't want to bend over like this and pick up weight in front of you. If you're going to pick up any weight in front of you, even if it's like a laundry hamper or a laundry basket, you don't want to pick it up like this. You want to squat, pick it up, and use your legs to support your back. 
always remember that because you, you could really hurt yourself and it, it might just be something really small, but it's your form that throws, throws you off for that time. Okay, get in position, ready, and go. This is our last round of these. So if you feel yourself getting stronger, you can go get bigger water bottles to up your weight on some of these exercises. Now I still like to keep this the lighter ones, just in case there's a move that um, you don't want to put too much weight on based on the, the position of your arms. Woo. Three, two, and last one. So you should feel that a little bit in your arms. If not, then maybe it was just really too light for you. And consider, these are those big two liter water bottles that you get at the market. So I was like, oh, perfect weight. They're double my other ones. We're becoming resourceful these days, right? Okay, side step to bicep curl. Let's go. Side step, bicep curl. I'm getting warm. Actually, I've been warm. Hopefully you guys are too. Side step, bicep curl. So you wanna have a full bend all the way up. Like I said, you can be speeding this up. You can have more reps than me. It's up to you. You feel that you can. Add that side step in there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the last one holding both my weights. Just a little cumbersome, but I wanna try. Okay. Center lift. Ready? Three, two, one, up. So it's just a little harder for me to hold it here, but the weight is not a problem. All the way up above your head. If you were doing this and you felt anything burning or pinching or you hear anything cracking, then yeah, lower your weight. Use common sense. You don't, you're not gonna feel it while you're working out. You'll feel it later on in the day or the next day if, you're, if you've overdone it. We only wanna overdo it to a certain level. Woo! Three, two, and one. Good job. Good job, good job. Okay, we're gonna take it down to the ground. So everybody come down to their mat. Trying to get a good view for you. Grab a sip of water. Okay. So the first one you're gonna, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna have my lighter weights because they're just easier to handle. You're gonna have one of them on the floor. If your shoulders are a problem, you can just stand up and do this exercise. Pretend that the floor is your chair. But for everybody that can handle uh, being on their elbows, we're going to be on a, on a slight plank like this. And we're going to switch sides with a little bit of a twist. So I'm on my knees. You can be here if this is a fine position for you. If this is a good position for you, you can be here. But if this is not a good position and you can't hold it for 30 seconds, come on your knees and your elbows, and we're just lifting like this. So there's a rotation in my hip. Ready? And go. Up. Switch hands. So you feel it on your side. Keeping your knees on the ground or your feet on the ground. You see I'm rotating from one arm to the other. 
Halfway there. So this challenges your balance. Three, two, and one. Good. So on that one, I demonstrated knees on the ground. The next one through, I'll demonstrate with my feet on the ground, but you pick which one you can handle. Okay, take it to your back. Take it to your back. I'm gonna have both my lighter water bottles on this one. Watch me first before we go through it. They're gonna be rope, they're gonna be lifting up. Okay, but I'm going to add in a leg lift. So it's gonna be like this. See that? Ready? So we're, we're motioning our arms like this. At the same time, we're scissoring our legs, one at a time. Level two and three, if you wanna push yourself, don't let your feet touch the ground. Level one, you can keep your feet up and down on the ground. Level two and three, if you wanna push yourself, leave your legs suspended in the air, okay? Ready? And go. So arms first. my legs. They're not touching the ground. Deep breath in, guys. Level one, go ahead and touch the ground. Level two and three, keep your feet suspended. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Woo. It's a little bit tricky if you're keeping your feet up in the air. See how you guys are doing it. Okay. So if you have any back issues, if you have any back problems though, make sure your feet touch the ground because that is going to put some pressure on your back and you might not be able to handle it. Okay. While you're in a seated position, you can use your light or your heavier. I want, you can either be level one straight up in your seated position, level two at a, at a V shape. So pick what's comfortable for you. Grab your weights. We're going to do an open fly. So open and close. Don't go past your shoulder though. It's gonna hurt your shoulder. We're just opening and closing. See this? At your comfortable range. Timer is starting now. Ready? And go. So I'm holding the V position, but if you can't do that, you're up here. You're just in a seated position. Focusing on opening and closing those weights. Got it? So if you can handle it, my level two and three people, you're at an incline down here. That's gonna engage your core a lot more. Woo! Definitely can feel it if you're at an incline. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Roll back over. So this time I'm going to demonstrate on a full plank. I'm going to be up like this. But remember, if you need to be on your knees and to rotate from your, from your elbow up, that's totally fine too for my level one people. If you have any shoulder issues or wrist issues and you can't do that, then you can just stand up and do these twist motions standing up. So you would just be like standing up like this, twisting. Okay, let's go. This is round two. I'm gonna be in a high plank, lift the bottle up. Switch hand, lift. Okay, staying in that high plank position. Halfway there. 
So the high plank gives you a little bit more of a challenge. Woo. Five more seconds, guys. You can do it. Three, two, and one. Okay. Back down to our scissor kicks with our dumbbell arms, okay? Level two and three, feet are suspended. Level one, feet are touching the ground like this, okay? Let's go. Get your arm motion going and then add in your legs. That way you can get the coordination going. I know some people are like, I'm not coordinated. It's okay, just do one at a time and add in the other. So, halfway there, keep those legs suspended, my two and three people. Level one, go ahead and drop them to the floor each time. Woo, feel it on round two, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come to a seated position. Woo. It's getting hot in here. I cannot feel that air. <sighs> you guys getting a good sweat? Hopefully you are. Okay, I know some people don't want to turn on any air so that they can get a good sweat, and that's good too. Or they're doing it outside. So remember this one? We're doing open fly. Level one, you're sitting up. Level two, you're leaning back. Two and three. Let's go, ready? And start. Just holding this V position. Opening it to a comfortable spot. Don't go past your shoulders with the weights. Then you're gonna overextend your shoulders. Halfway through. Good job. I see you. Looking good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Those weights are getting heavy in that V position. Ready for round three? Try that high plank if you haven't tried it yet. Let me see you guys. I'm watching, looking to see who's doing what. So I'm gonna be in that high plank position, my knees off the ground. Level one though, you're, you could be here, or you could be here, whichever one is comfortable for you. You choose. Waiting for my clock. High position. High plank position, and go. Up, switch sides, up. So we're lifting that weight all the way up as we're turning. So it's a combined movement. Almost there, guys. Last five, four, three, two, 
four, three, two, and one. Good job. Last one. Last one, open flies. Woo. Take a deep breath, we'll get some water afterwards. Get into your B position. You really wanna push it, you put your legs up. My level three people. But if you can't, that's fine too. Let's go, open flies. So you can pick your feet up and hold this here. If you're really trying to uh, test your core strength, this is a core position that we're in. This V takes a lot of core uh, center strength to hold it up. And we're open fly. So you find out what you can do. Last five. Three, two, and one. Grab your sip of water. Grab your sips. We're gonna take it back up. Whew. Halfway through this, guys. Okay. This next one, we're not gonna use our heavy weights because we're gonna speed up the intensity. Make sure you're drinking water, okay? We're gonna speed up the intensity on this one, so weights are optional. If you do have weights, I would suggest using your lighter ones, so five and under. Um, five for the guys. Maybe two or three for the girls if you wanted to use them. I'll show you the ones that I'm gonna use the weights on. Okay, so first move, we're gonna start with jump squats. So, heart rate is good right now. We're gonna do jump squats. From there, have a chair or couch handy because you're gonna be doing some reverse dips with leg lifts, okay? Yeah, so, chair, uh, a jump squat. You're about shoulder leg, your, your legs are about shoulder width apart. You're gonna go down low as you can go and then propel yourself up. Let me demonstrate. All the way down, up, full jump. A full jump, whatever you can do. If you can't jump at all, then you're just doing a squat to a tippy toe. Squat to a tippy toe. That way at least you get some movement. But the goal is to do a little bit of a hop. Okay? Ready? Full jump, let's go. Down, up, down, up. Soft landing, down, up. Woo. So you see I'm pausing once I stop. Oh, I kinda messed that one up. <laughs> so I'm talking. Pull you down, push up, stop. Down, up, balance. So just trying to demonstrate that in slow motion. I don't want you just hopping continually. Con keep going, a couple more. Down, up, one more, woo! Good, you should feel that burning in your thighs a little bit. Okay, grab your chair. Woo! Those jumps always get you. Okay, so your chair. Sit on your chair. You're gonna have your hands facing forward. If you have bad wrists or anything, don't don't um don't lean on your hands. Just stay seated for this exercise. Oh, let me catch my breath. 
So level one, or anybody with a wrist or shoulder injury or sensitivity, don't lean your body weight on the chair. Just stay right here at the edge of your, at the edge of your chair, okay? That's level one. Level two and three, you're gonna slide yourself off so that you're fully off of the chair. You're gonna drop down a few inches and then we're lifting our legs up, suspended in the air. Level one, you're just sitting on the chair, raising your legs, okay? So level one, you're staying seated. Level two and three, you're suspended in the air. Let's go. Follow your level. Drop it down a couple inches. Raise those knees up high. Ooh, should feel it burning a little bit. So my level two and three, you're suspended in the air. Your arms are holding you up. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Shake it off. Shake it off. If you were suspending. Next one, we're not gonna rest too much on this one, because remember I said it was a little high in higher intensity? Grab your light weights. We're cross, doing cross body crunch. Cross body crunch. You decide the speed. If you wanna keep this high intensity though, we're gonna do it a little bit quicker. So grab your light weights. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Hopefully that makes you feel good if you're not out of breath. <laughs> or if you are out of breath, it makes you feel good because you're the same as me. Ready? Cross body crunches. Intensity is gonna be a little higher. Let's go. So up and down. Reaching for that elbow to knee. Good. Elbow to knee. Get those knees up there. High as you can go. Getting a little bit of a twist and crunch down to reach that, at least reach for your knee. Last five. Four. Three, two, and one. <clears throat> Woo, catch your breath. Drop your weights. We're going into jump squats. Grab your sip of water. Another reason why I run out of breath is because I'm just talking. A rule of thumb, just FYI. If you have a hard time saying a complete sentence with one breath, that means your heart rate is elevated to a, a decently elevated position, almost to its max. If you can talk perfectly normal, then you're at a moderate elevation. Just That's just kind of a way to tell if you don't have a um, heart monitor on your, on your body. Okay, so jump squats. I'm gonna push my chair over a little bit. You don't run into it. Jump squats all the way down, jumping up, soft landing, quick pause, repeat. So I tried to slow it down and I messed my form up because I have to just do it all at once. But that's the, that's the motion. Make sure you have a soft landing and a quick pause. Let's go. Down, up, pause. Down, up, pause. Down, up, pause. You get the hang of it. Keep going. Soft landing. Ten more seconds. Woo. 
Give me two more. Woo! Okay. Good job. Yes. You're at your max. If you were jumping with me, your heart rate is elevated. So, that's what high interval training is. Raise it, lower it, raise it, lower it, raise it, lower it. By doing the mountain form, you actually will burn calories longer because you're keeping your heart at that elevated rate. Okay, back to our chair. Level one, you're on the chair. Level two, walk your body off of it, fully suspended, drop a couple inches, raise those legs. Let's go. So if this hurts your shoulder at all, if you're feeling burning in your shoulder, then straighten it up. Okay, so the more bent your arm is, the harder the intensity on your arms. Because then you're picking up most of your body weight at those joints. 10 more seconds. So I'm not in your body, I don't know. You have to know. If it's burning, change your form. If it feels okay, keep going. Three, two, and one. Whew. I am dripping. Dripping, dripping, dripping. That's good for you. Lots of water. What do I say? Half your body weight in ounces. Whew. Okay, next is our cross body crunch. Let your heart catch up just a little bit. And we're going into our cross body. I want to share an interesting fact, but I need to uh, catch my breath for the workout and then I'll share it with you. Okay, five. We're going to get started in five. Remember, keep your intensity up, reaching for that knee, reaching down, getting a light crunch in each way. Knee up as high as you can go. Ready? Start. So, what I wanted to share was I posted a interesting article on water on my page and something that I really didn't fully know was that we actually need almost 10 to 11 depending on our size man or woman and you can get a couple cups of that from fruits and vegetables three two and one so, if you eat a lot of fruits that are really juicy, that could give you one or two cups of water. Um, and then you still have your eight cups after that. But then that really means is that you actually drink 10 cups. So I thought that was interesting because I never really, I never really paid attention to the liquid level in my fruit. So like if you're eating a, a, an orange and it's really juicy, well, you're essentially getting orange juice with the fruit. But then if you're eating, let's say an apple and it's a little bit on the older side, you crunch into it and it's a little mushy, you're not getting as much water from that apple. But if it's a fresh apple and you bite into it and juice is coming out, then you're also getting apple juice. So that just adds to your intake of liquid. So, um, we have one more round. I'm only chatting to uh, let your heart rate calm down. So, jump squats next. That was just a little side point. Up your fruits and vegetables. Vegetables in a raw sense carry their juices, but in a cooked sense, they usually lose their water. So. Just FYI. We have jump squats. Ready? Last round. Let's go. Down, up, soft landing. Get that full squat in. So down, my head's not covering my knees. And a jump. Keeping that back straight. 
jumping up as high as you can go or going to your tippy toe. Woo! Couple more. Three, two, one more. Woo! Legs are getting a little noodly. Good job. I'm watching you. Going to our chair. Get your chair ready. Okay, so slide yourself off. If the first two, you were only a couple inches down and that was too easy, you can lower even further. You can go to a 90 degree angle. So you can go all the way down here if you want, but just make sure that it's comfortable for your shoulder because you could really put your shoulder in a bad position. Ready? Let's go. Knees up as high as you can. You're suspended in the air. I am really hot right now, guys. And the air is not hitting me. Woo! So, part of the water thing, though, even though you're getting extra with your fruits and vegetables, you're losing it when you sweat. So, it's always a compensation. Woo! Three, two, and one. Catch your breath. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. Catch your breath. And when you're talking and working out, you're not inhaling enough oxygen also. So, I don't want to pass out for you guys. Okay, last one. Cross body crunches. Last one of these. Let's go. Three, two, one. Keep your intensity up. Last one, so keep your intensity. High. You want that sweat. That's taking out toxins. Heating up your core met metabolism. 10 more seconds. Woo! Three, two, and one. Woo, guys. How you doing? How you doing? You look good. Let me just check a couple of you. For the ones I can see, you guys look good. I try and watch. If you guys have any questions, like, or um, I know some have reached out with specific injuries. That's why I'm able to try and help you while we're working out, because you've told me. But if I don't know you don't, you have an injury, I can't kind of help you compensate for it. You'll just have to figure that out on your own, unfortunately. So reach out to me with whatever you're trying to work on or that you need help with. Okay, we are almost to the end where we stretch. But before we do, we're gonna do some holds. I know you guys love it when I do holds. Come down to the mat. So, I want you to try this. You're gonna be supported by your elbow. It's a, it's a uh, side plank lift plus a crunch. So if you can't barely do the side plank lift, don't bother doing the crunch. But for those of you that want a little bit more of a push, let me show you. So this is a side plank lift right here, okay? Level one, this is what you guys are doing. 
level two. On the top, you're going to add in a crunch. So it's up, <laughs> crunch, out, down, up, crunch, out, down. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay? Ready? Let's go. Up, crunch, down, up, crunch, down. Level one, you're skipping the crunch and you're just going up and down. So we're holding that lift up in order to get a crunch in. Ooh, you should be feeling it. Halfway there. Deep breath in, lift that hip up. Crunch at the top. Three, two, and one. Switch sides. How'd you like that? Woo. So, level one, you're just lifting your hip. Level two, you're adding in a crunch at the top. Let's go, other side. Get your form ready. One, two, three, up, crunch, down, up, crunch, down, up, crunch. Keep it going. One, two, three, four. Ten more seconds. Good. Now the stronger you get, the easier this will be. Last one. Woo. Go ahead and sit up. You can see the reflection. It's burning. So as you shred those excess, excessive pounds, that will get easier because then you're lifting less, but it will still be challenging because you're lifting your own body weight. Whew. How are you guys doing? We're going to end it. You see that? Oh, that's a big bite. Terrible. Why am I sticking my face in the camera? Like, who does that? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so. Just want to be really raw and real with you guys. You know you're not alone in anything. I'm doing it with you. Let's slow this down a little bit. We're going to end it with a plank. Okay? And then we'll do some stretching. What a plank is, is either on your wrist up here, your body is straight as a pencil, or you're down here on your forearms. Once again, straight as a pencil. Let me see. Yeah. Your butt's not up in the air. It's not sagging on the floor. It's right here. Okay? I'm gonna put a minute on the clock. You're gonna try to hold that plank for that whole minute. If you can't and you find yourself popping down, just pop back up, pop down, up, just just keep that motion going as long as you can. You will get stronger through the process. If you absolutely can't put weight on your arms, then just uh, lean on your chair and try and push yourself up and down like this while holding on to the chair. Just like this, in standing up. If you can't, if you absolutely can't do what I'm doing, then you're on a chair holding on and leaning into, leaning into it, okay? Get into that too much. Okay, minutes on the clock. Come down here with me. Body is elevated off the ground. Butt is not too high, not too low, nice and straight. We're just holding it here. Woo! We are 10 seconds in. If you need to pop down and pop back up, don't feel bad. But the goal is 
to hold it. You're halfway done. Deep breath. If your body's shaking, that's a good thing. Shaking is a good thing. Last 10, guys. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come to your knees. Woo! We are going to stretch. Good job. Oh, if you aren't dripping yet, yeah, I hope you're dripping now. Because I am, and I don't want to be alone. Okay, come into a lunge position. Lunge. So your front leg, my left leg is up. Bent, two hands on my thighs. Pushing my back straight up as possible. Getting that nice bend. Deep breath in. Slowly exhale. Our body needs lots of oxygen. Deep breath in. Slow exhale. From here, switch legs. Draw up that right leg, push back the left leg. Hands on your thighs and push up. So today was a good sweat sit, sit. can't see sweat session. And that's really good for your body, for your lymphatic system. Helps remove the toxins. That's why you have to drink lots of water to push them out. You guys did really well. Remember to celebrate the small victories. Like for some, I know that it was that you're able to get off and on the chair or the ground a lot easier. Slide that leg back at the width of your mat. Sit in between it as low as you can go. Walk your hands forward, head to the ground. Keeping that seated position as well as, as much as you can. Bring your head to the ground all the way down. Gently come up very slowly, come to all fours. From here, you're gonna draw your chin to your chest and pull your spine to the ceiling. So like this. You're gonna round out your back. Like someone's pulling your spine to the ceiling. Good. Now reverse it. Chin up, pull your spine down. So we're stretching out that spine. Take a deep breath and pull it in and pull your spine up. Reverse it one more time. Good. Come to a seated position. Open up your 
your your um, left leg. Keep your right leg bent. Grab onto that ankle and pull yourself down as low as you can comfortably go. We just want to hold it there so you can feel that nice stretch in the back of your leg. Unmute everybody. For those that are not on camera, would you like to come into the camera for a quick picture? Thank you. I hear babies and children. It's so great that they're safe. Hey, look at that. We have another man with us. <laughs> Jacob, you're not alone. <laughs> no good. How'd you like it? Very good. I did good. my third class. I did one over the weekend. I did the Thursday oh, session. Oh, awesome. Good for you. So, like I say, if you anybody can do the class, you just up your weights or up your speed. So, even, even my gentlemen that are doing it with us, they... They can just up their weights and um, push their body in ways that they're not used to doing. So, smile for the camera. Come here, speak. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. She's still in her PJs. Don't mind the bedhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Thank nice you. to see everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, message me privately with your concerns or anything that you need. Um, that I can help you out personally with, just message me. Okay, guys? You did great. Look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Good yeah. job. You're not alone. You. Look at all these people. Good seeing y'all. Good seeing you. Bye. Bye. Bye.